Hello guys, today I want to talk about Vue.js and Laravel pagination with help of a package called Laravel Vue pagination, which is really popular. But the problem with it, that all the documentation is pointed to Vue 2 syntax. So how to use the same package with Vue.js 3 and specifically with Composition API. It's not in the docs, but I will show you an example. This example is based partly on my course, which I released pretty recently, Vue.js 3 plus Laravel 9 SPA, and one of the lessons was about pagination. But you can take a look at the full course, the link will be in the description below. But anyway, I have two tables. One is from Vue to Syntax with Options API, and the other one is Composition API. How it is structured? First, we have two components, index and index composition and they are both registered in here. And this is the first difference from documentation of Laravel 2. So in the readme of that package, this is the syntax. And we can compare. If we take a look at the Vue.js docs at view 2, this is how the components were typically registered, especially in Laravel projects. So import component and then export default components in the resources JS app JS. In Vue.js 3, one of the most popular ways to register a component in resources JS app JS of Laravel project is this import and then app component like this. So same goes to app component pagination with Laravel view pagination. So that's first difference. And then in the main blade file of that Laravel project on the dashboard, I load both components, post index and post index composition. And now let's take a look at the difference inside of those. Again, if we take a look at the documentation readme of that package, we have typical view to syntax, which actually will still work in Vue.js 3, but many people choose composition API in Vue.js 3. So I tried to copy and paste or almost identically copy paste into index.view, which is this. So I get the pagination, I show the pagination and data is posts. And then on change of the pagination, we have get posts and posts is a local object. Then on mounted, we call get posts and this get post with page as a parameter performs the API call to get the data. So it's all in one index.view file, not separated to any composable or composition API exactly according to the official documentation of the package. And if we refresh the page, I will show you that it actually works. So you click two, you click three, and then every time the API call is made and the data is refreshed here. Now, how to use that in the composition API? It's a bit different. It's not in the documentation and maybe I will make a pull request to the docs, I'm not sure how much free time I have, but this is how it looks. The pagination part doesn't change, but the script part is much shorter. Why? Because according to the composition API, we create a composable kind of include file, which will contain all the logic around posts. So composable post, and then we call the get posts from that file. If we take a look at that composables post JS inside of that, we have the same get posts. It's just transformed as a method inside of use posts. And we return both posts and get posts here. And inside of the index composition dot view first on mounted, we load get posts for the first time. And also every time the pagination change, we call get posts just not from here, but from the composable. So the behavior didn't really change. I just wanted to showcase the composition API of Vue.js 3 since it wasn't in the official docs of the package. And the benefit of that is separation of the code. So your main component index composition view becomes shorter. And also inside of those posts, you may put more logic like create post, delete post or something like that. And inside of index, you can use only some parts of that composable. And if you want to know more about Composition API in Vue.js 3, I actually performed this full course, except for the very beginning, with the Composition API. So you can get this full example of table with filters, with auth, and with routing with Composition API. Again, the link to this course will be in the description below. That's it for now, and see you guys in other videos.